Man, we're fancy pants in it today. Today we have a bottle that was recommended to me over and over. It hit Ohio, uh, where I lived not too long ago. This is the Old Elk Infinity Blend Limited Release. It's a marriage of the Old Elk Straight Bourbon Whiskey High Malt Mash Bill with two vintage Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskeys. Another thing it comes with, kind of a hefty price tag. Let's check it out on the mash and drum. What's up folks, I am Jason C from The Master and Drum and today we have another offering from mastermind and distilling legend Greg Metz of Old Elk. The Old Elk Infinity Blend limited release. Utilizing his 43 years of experience, Greg Metz blended that high malt mash bill of Old Elk with the classic profiles of a Kentucky bourbon. Take a look at this beauty. So before we dive into the blend, we have to talk a bit about Old Elk's bourbon and that high barley mash bill. To be more specific, 51% corn, 34% malted barley, and 15% rye. By using about four times more malted barley than you see in traditional mash bills, Old Elk creates a non-traditional flavor profile while keeping things sweet, but also keeping things a little bit on the smoother and less spicy side. All right, so what's in the bottle? The blend is made of 60% of that high barley, six year Old Elk blended straight bourbon, 24% of a 12 year old Kentucky vintage source bourbon, and 16% of an 11 year old Kentucky vintage source bourbon. The Infinity Blend is an ode to all you whiskey enthusiasts out there who like to create your own Infinity bottles at home. Old Elk plans to use this blend for future releases and the process will continue annually. So we should see one of these with a new blend each and every year. So high praise from Greg Metz himself. He said that this is his best blend to date. He said that you don't know until you see it, uh, reflecting on how we made this. Uh, I started with 60% of Old Elk's blended straight bourbon and adjusted the other two accordingly until I finally found the blend that represents what I feel might be the best work to date. I'm incredibly proud to say Old Elk is my legacy. And now with the Infinity Blend, it has never been more true. That's high praise from someone that really pushed the envelope of distilling while he was at MGP. So the Old Elk Infinity Blend is a national limited release, bottled at 114.9 proof and price at $150 per bottle. If you wanna see exactly where it's available, you can go to their website and see uh, all the states that it's available in. So what I do appreciate about this is one, uh, they do give you on the side of the bottle, I think you guys saw this in the close-ups, they show you exactly the percentage of the whiskey blend, uh, what's exactly in this Infinity Blend, which is, you know, very a la, you know, Barstown Bourbon Company, kind of gives you the percentages. Doesn't really tell you the mash bills or what was uh, put into this, aside from Old Elk's original high malt uh, six year bourbon. But um, I, I do appreciate transparency always. And also you can't have a limited release without a bougie box. So <laughs> let's dive in guys, here we go. I mean, it's creme brulee in the glass, honestly. It's so sweet, vanilla, caramel forward, brown sugars. You know, I do get a little bit of that barley note in there. That's like honey, barley type thing going on. A little bit of chocolate. Man, the, the Old Elk malt, the maltiness definitely comes through in this for me. I'm not getting like a ton of dark fruits here. But man, this is really sweet on the nose. Maybe the slightest scent of like a black cherry. So with Old Elk traditionally, 
I don't get a ton of like the orange or citrus notes because they use such a low rye mash bill. That high barley really kind of gives it more of a honey, malty type of experience, a little bit more chocolate to kind of go along with the vanilla and the caramels that you get in a traditional bourbon. And I think the blend is kind of bringing out both, both of those different attributes to the whiskey. I mean, it is a, a really nice blend. You have this blend of that high malt Old Elk, so you, you have the DNA of Old Elk still in there with those more intensified Kentucky bourbon, the older age Kentucky bourbon notes, a lot of caramel, deep rich vanillas, again, a little bit of cherry, and there's some, there, there's some oak here too, I think. I think it's more of a light sweet oak, it's not more of an intensified oak, and I think I get a slight hint of like a little bit of leather there on the back end of this. All right, let's try it guys. Did not expect that. This has a very long, lingering, peppery finish that I don't really remember getting the first couple pours I had. But it is very sweet up front. I get the maltiness too. Again, the vanilla, the caramels, a little bit of sweet oak. First sip here, let's go to another one. I mean, for me, this is so vanilla forward, like vanilla extract, caramel like caramel sauce. A little bit of um, like candy apple I'm getting on here too. Kind of rounded out with that nice barley and then the back end of this, my goodness, the peppery notes on here. I'm actually getting a little bit of the citrus on the palate. Wasn't getting it so much on the nose. Getting a little bit of orange spice here. A little cinnamon too. And it is, and, and true to Old Elk's kind of DNA here, it does, it drinks easy, it drinks nice. There's no, like, it's not rye forward on the palate, but on the finish, I feel like you get a nice rye spice, long lingering black pepper, it's good. I mean, like I said, I was, I had a couple of people at least say, hey, have you tried the Old Elk Infinity Blend? Have you tried the Old Elk Infinity Blend? It's really good, it's really good. I can't say Infinity. <laughs> All right, another sip here, then we'll uh, go from front to back here on the palate. All right, so front of the palate, again, a lot of vanilla, a lot of caramels. I mean, I know that's kind of a typical bourbon note by saying that, but it's true. There's, it's just very heavy vanilla and caramel. It's almost like, it's very creme brulee. It's creamy, more like a vanilla custard. Works its way back, you get some of that maltiness. Some of the orange spice, I think, from whatever it's giving me that peppery note, whatever they blended it with from the Kentucky side, uh, but man, the pepperiness on the back end of this and the long lingering finish is definitely the best part of this bourbon. It's a little bit light up front for me. Um, I'd rather have more of a punch of flavor, but again, Old Elk is all about the high barley content and not really bringing you know, some of those super punch you in the face, spicy flavors, they, they want to keep it a little bit more subdued, a little bit light and easy. So I get that part of it. But I mean, overall it, it is, it's a really, really good blend, delicious dram. I'm curious to see how this progresses. Um, but let's, uh, to finish it out, let's go to the final breakdown. All right, final breakdown on this one, guys. Retail price, $150 for this, uh, for this blend. Um, secondary, I think the, I've only seen it a couple times on there and I think the highest I saw was about 220, 230, so not a huge markup uh, secondary wise. Availability is pretty good. I mean, you're looking at a natural release. From what I remembered seeing on the website, I think it was about 18 to 20 states uh, ish, you know, when you're, when you're kind of looking at availability. But if you're an old elk fan, it's got pretty good availability. All right, value, when it comes to value, $150, look, this is the kind of the norm we're in here in the, in the bourbon market where everything is, you know, pretty pricey, especially for a limited release. But what I do like that they give you for the old elk is the proportions. I mean, you, you can't ask for more than that. I mean, but you're looking at 60% of the blend being that six year old old elk uh, bourbon. And while that's great, uh, I really think that for $150, I would like to see the 12 year and the 11 year uh, bourbon majority amped up a little bit. I know you wanna kind of you wanna showcase the Old Elk Bourbon, and I get that, but 150 bucks, I mean, if you look at Barstown Bourbon Company, I mean, those guys are putting in 13, 12, 17, 
you know, they're putting some ultra age whiskeys in those blends as well, and they're keeping it at 130. So for this, I'm gonna say below average. Most I paid for this, I, I wouldn't pay over retail for this, but I do wish this was 100 bucks, maybe 90 to 100 dollars. Uh, recommend. Uh, I don't think I could give this a solid yes. Is it good? I like the bigger, bolder flavors. Uh, and, and it's interesting because Old Elk, you know, the Old Elk Weeded Bourbon, the Wheat Whiskey, I've tasted some of those, you know, those barrel picks and some of the stuff off the shelf that's, I feel like it's a little bit even more intense than this. What it gives you overall for $150, I feel like it's lacking something. Um, so I would say for me, I wouldn't say no because obviously I got, it, I got it recommended to me. So a lot of people do like it, but I feel like depending on what your palate, which way it goes, this is probably a try before you buy considering it is $150, but there's just not enough for me on the front of the palate. I love the finish of it though, but we'll see how this opens up over time. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review for the new Old Elk Infinity Blend. Really, really good blend from Greg Metz. Uh, if you try this one, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. And also down in the comments, let me know what your Infinity Blends are right now. Do you have some Infinity Blends at home that you're working on? What's in them? I mean, if there's less than like 20 whiskeys in them, let me know. If it's like past 20, just be like, I got a lot of shit in there. <laughs> All right, guys, cheers. See you next time right here on The Master Drum.